Born from a middle-class family, Rita Nkemba began interacting with street children right after completing university in 1996. A regular churchgoer and a singer in a church choir at the Kampala Pentecostal Church on Bombo Road in the early 80s brought her closer to the realities of people living on the streets. Rita says she did not know the gravity of the problem until she met a blind mother of nine children who earned a living from begging on the streets. So I offered to take her onto my pickup and I took, took there and I decided that let me go and just escort her up to home, where she called home. For me, really from my background, that was my first time, to, my first experience in a slum. I was amazed at how she felt for the money in her pockets and she knew this was 500 shillings and she told people, go. You know, the she was organizing her own way. So I got intrigued. And the more I went on the streets and found out how those people were living, the more I knew that it's possible to do something about them, the more I got connected into finding solutions for them on the streets. She then took to giving out handouts of food from her savings and a little from her husband to make street children happy. Rita went as far as playing the clown just to pull crowds of street children where she distributed eats and drinks just to make a difference in less fortunate children's lives. So in my own small way, I thought if I painted my face and looked like a clown, I would definitely attract people's attention. I attracted 200 children on that day, filthy, filthy children. So I did a puppet show in the field there. I did a puppet show and it was the story of Adam and Eve. I had milk, I had sweets, I had cakes, I had, I had a team of volunteers. Her greatest fear was when she was faced with the task of bailing out over 20 children with their mothers and relatives from a police swap. This unfortunate incident happened moments just before she arrived with food and drinks for the children way back in 1996 as she made her once in a week visit to the street. Quickly, she hatched a plan and found cheap accommodation for the destitute group in Katwe, a suburb of Kampala. We actually rented 10 small buildings and we released, we got the people and we placed them in, in, in those places. So for me, that was me beginning to take people off the streets. I organized them in, in the most <laughs> interesting way. I said, okay, since this one has his wife, you, you can stay in that one. Now men, boys here, girls there, young children over here, that one over there. Before long I thought that I'd done a great job and taken people off the streets, but I didn't realize. Next day, the LC chairman called me and said, who brought these people in this area? They were fighting, they were drinking, they were sniffing aviation fuel. They had caused chaos. So people started saying, these are the people for this woman called Auntie Rita. It was from here that Rita started a home that has now grown into what is now called dwelling places. Over 300 abandoned and street children have passed through this home. With a team of dedicated outreach officers, the children undergo psychological counseling and rehabilitation before being resettled into the home. Rita has also begun interim education programs with the homes where the children develop skills that enable them return and succeed in mainstream education systems. She is now proud that several of the children who pass through dwelling places have graduated and have started earning a living. Rita's passion to care for less fortunate children seems to have started when she was a young girl growing up, at least according to her mother. Her and her husband have two biological children but have adopted 15 other children who live with them at their home in Munyonyo. Rita's dream is to see these children grow up into responsible and self-reliant people. We have a farm, 11 acres in Buloba, where we, we grow food. We have an enterprise component. We have just recently set up a market in Mutundwe community. It's not yet picked up, but it's getting there. We have a social center. Because we realize, we realize that our young people are growing and they need a place where they can hang out. Perhaps they, it will be a place where they will find their future mates or something. <laughs> I don't know. For now, Rita will continue changing lives of less fortunate children and mothers by empowering them to have better livelihoods. Isabel Nakiria, NTV. I am crying for love. Won't you listen to me? Won't you give me your hand? 
I'm abandoned, rejected, resented. Zendia wenyongo beda. Mazima siri na chendia. Rachid dalate mnyamba. Oh, I, oh,